What's up guys, Max here, and I wanted to make a pre-video to the upcoming week off that I am planning. And it's going to be pretty interesting because it's going to involve a character that I have very little information and knowledge with. And you better believe it, it's like the most freaking single requested character out of all of Injustice, and it's Harley Quinn. Now, I actually did something a bit earlier. I didn't, I haven't bought many of the skin packs in this game. I mostly ordered them, but just for you guys, I went and I bought the Bad Girl skin pack, which has Harley classic Quinn. Harley in it. Let's freaking go. What I want to do now, before this week of starts, is actually show you guys a little bit of the stuff that I've personally been able to figure out after watching a few videos, going to testyourmite.com, visiting the forums, and trying to understand a little bit more what Harley is is all about. Like, how you use her, what you should be doing with her, and what you need to be looking for. And hopefully I can... I, I've, I've captured a little bit of that in my, in my basic understanding right now, so... Let me... here, hold on a sec, let me get my controls a little bit adjusted. One thing I did learn with Harley is that, um... Oh my gosh, she is a character that I actually have to put alternate control back on. Uh, this is the Street Fighter style control, so it's like half circle forward for a back forward move that you normally would have. But I would need it because when I would, whenever I would jump over a guy with Harley, I'd always get this on accident, going from down to back and pressing, and pressing, like, light attack. That's the worst thing, that's why I like, um, certain characters like... Oh man, who was it that didn't have a move like that? It, some some characters don't have moves like that, and I love them for the Mortal Kombat style controls. But for now, let's talk about what Harley is all about. So I think Harley's a 50-50 mix-up slash zoning character. The majority of Harleys you're going to see online do things like this. Habada, boobada, habada, habada bee boop, habada bee bop, and all this types of stuff. You can actually meter burn these things to so get even more damage. Let me turn on my meter. Um, and she, for the most part, has a relatively somewhat decent... I was the wrong thing. A somewhat decent ranged game. Um, it's not amazing, but it's it's okay. It gets the job done. This move is, like, freaking fantastic. This, the meter burn, uh, meter burn version of this. There we go. And it, like, goes into a ground bound state. But she's also got some really curious other moves. Um, for the most part, like, a lot of the stuff that I was talking about was talking about her... What's the stance called? The tantrum stance. So this thing. This thing goes from this, you press X, and you get the cartwheel, which is the best version of it, pretty much. You press Y, and you get, like, a, a sweep. And then you press, uh, heavy, and you get multi-gun shots. These are all pretty good, but the most safe one, although it's not completely safe at all, is the cartwheel. And it leads to other things, too. You know, it leads to a bunch of other stuff, which is pretty freaking good. I found that her grab range seems to be ridiculously short for some reason, like, almost awkwardly short, like, I don't know, it was just, whenever I was trying to grab guys, it was, it was not working out very well. What you're gonna fish for a lot is, oh, most of the time it's low attacks. Harley's got this wonderful low, which is the tantrum stance, and that's actually a three-hit combo. You see that? One, two, three. Even after, like, I was a huge delay, it still is, because the tantrum stance puts them into a huge stun state. You see that? That's really good to know. Uh, she's also got back 2-2. Two, two. Bam, bam, bam. And this thing is fantastic because even if you do one gunshot, it still does it. And what's even better is that it's technically a quote-unquote option select, meaning you can always cancel this thing into the tantrum stance. Like, it's like the best thing you can always do. If it misses, it doesn't come out. If it hits, it does come out. Pretty freaking good, right? And it leads to all this other stuff. Let me try to remember a couple of combos. The combos you mostly see with Harleys are stuff like this. Oh, and you have to really delay it there. Let me try this again. Stuff like that. And that's that's a very quick and easy 35% damage. And it started off with this, which is a which is just a regular low. If you had a jumping attack... Oh, speaking of jumping attacks, her jumping too seems pretty freaking good, right? Not bad. Let me see if I can if I can possibly get some of her corner stuff down. Oh, so there's 42% just off that, off of a, uh, off of a low. Eh. Ooh, I think I need to go into, uh, this. And this is difficult with, uh, with Street Fighter controls. It's literally quarter circle back, half circle forward. What I'll do is I'll show you guys it with the, uh, the other control scheme. This is what I, this is what I dislike about the character a little bit, is that I'm, I'm really bad with certain versions of the Street Fighter controls. And I'm much better with the MK style controls. So let me see if I can get this in the first shot here. Ooh, 
There we go. And that's it. And that leads them into a stun state, and freaking voila, that's a 46% damaging combo. Uh, there's a couple of pretty good things that you can get mid-screen as well, for the sake of, uh, oh wow. This thing is amazing, by the way. Her overhead is freaking fantastic. She's also got a forward two overhead, which you can cancel into tantrum stance. Check that out. I think it's, uh, forward two, tantrum stance, this, yes. Stuff like that. The other one that's pretty good is, um, I think it's forward two, up three, yes. Yeah, it's forward two... Up three. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, I think I might want to be doing that. So let me let me let me try this really quick. So we'll start off a low. There we go. And that's 30%. And it's not that hard to do. It's got it's got some little goofy things about it. What this also leads to is a crazy ambiguous cross-up situation. This is a post-combo setup, so check check this out. Dash forward and overhead. Look at all that stuff. So that that's a kind of like a crazy mix-up loop. Even though they, they, I think they have to neutral roll me. Look. Yeah, if they roll back, it doesn't work. And I messed it up. Let me try to get my my full ass combo. No! No! I think it's this into this, which I, I just love the way it looks, which is why I really want to get it. Oh, I almost had it! That's 34%. That's the wrong ender, though. There we go! Pretty cool, right? 36% damage. It's. Not bad at all, and if you realize, all this stuff is meterless. So I'm I'm trying to figure out, and this is where I actually really why I really wanted to make this video because Harley is kind of a difficult character to use. I'm trying to figure out what are her good pokes. What should I be fishing for? Is it this thing that I should constantly be looking for, like a hit confirm into this? You know, I mean hit confirm into this and stuff like that. I'm not too sure. So any Harley players that are out there, I'm looking for a lot of or suggestions at the moment as far as what I should be doing. It's got this interesting dash as well, which is back forward three, and you can cancel it into the tantrum stance. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, right? I'm trying to think of anything else about the character that is crazy unique. Her super uh, might actually be useful, mostly because she da doesn't seem to use meter, like I was saying. Does this work? It does work! That's pretty sick looking, right? I kind of I kind of like that. So I'm thinking with meter, it's like multi-gun shots, it's like... It's this thing. I hear this thing is great too because it's like a cancel. Stuff like that. Um, and her, god dude, her jumping twos are just, or her back threes and forward threes is just too amazing. Meter burn this thing and you're good to go. Let me know. What I'm, what I'm trying to look for is the stuff that I should be normally doing with Harley. Should I be playing her mostly keep away and then waiting for like something like this? And to get in full combo, or should I be doing like other things? She's also got this jumping guns, but it looks super unsafe. Uh, she's like on the ground, she's in the air forever, and she's not really that safe at all. Um, and her trait doesn't seem to be useful. Like it's it's a random thing, so you can end up getting like a picture. You get like things that heal you. you get unblockable attacks, like this one, and that's very cool. But it's just. I don't know if I can rely on that, you know what I mean? And it takes like, a, it has a huge amount of recovery time as well. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I'm not too sure what to do about that one. The, how good is this? What the hell, you can charge this as well? Oh my god. And it's an unblockable attack. Holy crap, Harley. So, this is a character that doesn't seem very easy to use. Like, there, she's got a lot of really unique things about her, which I like, and she's pretty fun to pull off. Her combos aren't that difficult to do, which is a huge bonus for me. 33%, it's not bad. I think you can actually meter burn this. Yes. And it does unteckable, or sorry, unblockable 8%. So literally, if, if I get this full combo... One more time. One more time. And that is 35% plus, like, an extra 8%. So that, that ain't bad at all, man.
Let me see how much damage this does. This is, this is the combo that every single Harley does, like, right? It's like this. My bad. It's like this, into this, into this. And that's 35%. That's, that's... Okay, that's not that bad as well. So, I, I'm kind of digging this character. I just need to know from everybody else what exactly I should be looking for with Harley. And what are the things that actually make her pretty good in the in the eyes of like all the other better characters in the game? Because when I went online to briefly try things out, it was just nothing but Scorpions, nothing but Aquamans, and almost everybody was using Superman. And it gets a little hard to use like a character like Harley against all that insane stuff, you know what I mean? So I'm looking for a little bit of help from you guys. If you have any suggestions or advice or good videos that describe this stuff, let me know. Put them in the comments below. I'll be back this week with a week of Harlequin. It's finally going to happen. Everyone's going to be happy. And it's going to be hopefully a little bit of fun as I maybe might win half of the matches I play. That's what I'm hoping for, especially with a brand new character with a little bit of experience that I've had. If you guys enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up or a comment below. My name is Max, and I'll see you next time. Suck it, Batman! <laughs>